Hello from Vienna Day 3. Today my plans are to have some fun and then eventually leave and go back to London. But the one thing I want to do today, ride my bicycle around the city to get Wiener Schnitzel and look at some more cool architecture. So without further ado, let's get my bike. The cool thing about bikes in Vienna is that the first hour is completely free. The next hour only one euro and the next hour only two euros. If you return the bike for a 15 minute time period, you get to start over and the next hour is free again. I love it. So hopefully I get to bike around the city a lot. Let's hope I don't crash my bike for the third time. So I could have gone for the crazy swirly bike here, but it's just too obnoxious for me. So I'm going for a simple purple. So this is probably the third book, The Prisoner of Azkaban, you know, number three. Uh, but that's what it is in German. If you look on the bed there. Uns der Gefängene von Azkaban. Yeah, most certainly. Yeah. Some Wiener Schnitzel. It looks sort of like something I've had before, but yet not. It also came with Kartoffeln Salat, or potato salad. I'll tell you what I think. It's very good. I actually really like it. Well, now that I'm incredibly full from the Wiener Schnitzel, I still want something else. I want some dessert, so I'm gonna get some vegan strawberry ice cream or Erdbeer ice. So I got some Erdbeer und Vanilla. Really, really good at eating ice cream. Oh man, that strawberry is so sweet. So this is the Hunterd Wasser building. Um, it looks interesting, almost like that place I went to in New Zealand with all the mosaics. The entire building is basically made out of a mosaic tiling. It's pretty darn cool, very different. And it's on my way to the Prater, so might as well. So similar to how Copenhagen has like a theme park in the center of the city, Vienna has a huge park that also has an amusement park there called the Prater and there is a giant ferris wheel which I'm hoping to ride, spare I have enough euro and it's just it's really beautiful, I love how many parks there are in the city, look at this lovely path. The Vienna's ferris wheel looks like they took railway cars and put them as the carriages that you get to ride on. I don't know if it's always called this but in Vienna they call bumper cars chauffeur Schule which I believe means driving a school, right? Chauffeur, drivers, schule, school. Because it's such a beautiful day, I think I'm going to ride on the Ferris wheel. Maybe the roller coaster, maybe the giant swings, we'll see. No. So the Ferris wheel is fun, but I just found out that this giant swing ride up there is the tallest swing ride in the world. And if you didn't know this about me, my favorite rides at carnivals are the swing rides because they're the ones that make you the least sick, despite also just being circles. They're just fun swings. And these are the highest. I can't wait to go on this. So what is your name? Paula. Paula recognized me when I was in the queue for this as she likes my videos. Hopefully. Like, maybe she just watches them. Oh, thank you. Sarah Lustig. Lustig, yeah? Lustig, yeah. Yeah. So this is the tallest, you know this is the tallest swing ride in the world. Really? Fun fact. Woo! You know, I really like this park. I like how many rides they have and how good the rides are. It looks really lovely. The one thing I feel bad about is that there's not that many people here. It's honestly kind of empty. I mean, truth be told, I'm here on a Wednesday in the middle of the day, but if this was any other theme park, I imagine it'd be really popular. I mean, look at that cool ride. It's based off the Olympic rings, I assume, and there's like three different types of coasters you get. Go what? That's so cool. Where is everyone? I mean, I guess the good thing about this is there's no queue for anything, so I'm just gonna go on this giant roller coaster here. Why not? Oh, I'm on yet another ride that I don't necessarily fit in. Like they're, you know, looking a little bit like frogs, but here we go. The Super 8 Bot, or Super Octor Bot.
now that I finished up at the Prater, it was an amazing time. I think I'm going to rent a bike and go biking to the park. I only have two hours left to get to the airport, so YOLO. So before heading off to the park, I decided to check out the Danube. I remember learning a lot about it in like eighth grade history and how important the Danube River is. I believe it's the biggest or longest river in all of Europe if you're not counting Russia. Because, I mean, Russia is Russia, you know? Either way, this is half of it. There's a little part right here, which is like an island in the middle. Uh, somehow, I don't know how that worked out, but the, it splits up into two little rivers and then goes back into one. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna bike along this, head to a park with that giant castle that I droned the other day. And then I guess going back to the hostel, I'll get my stuff. I don't know what this is, but it looks amazing. So I've now finally biked all the way to Ausgarten, which is pretty far from where I was, and I'm very bad with directions, especially on a bike, so I'm constantly looking at my phone to make sure I'm going the right way. I'm here. I'm a shell of a man, I'm so dead, but I want to enjoy this beautiful park, so I'm just going to bike around for a bit more before returning my bike. <sighs> I didn't crash, I was just stopping my bike to get pictures. It's a beautiful day, but sadly it has to come to an end. I've biked to that giant castle tower thing that I still don't understand what that thing is, but it's been a good day. It's a very beautiful fresh air breeze. I'm sad to leave. Vienna is a very beautiful city, and I'm excited to come back to Austria, hopefully maybe Salzburg sometime in the future. Let's go back to the hostel. My bike. like the cat train that I got in is now broken. There's no more trains going to the airport. Good thing I'm a little bit early, two hours until my tr uh, flight leaves, which means that it's a 40 minute bus. I should be fine, hour and 20 minutes early. Better than sometimes. I'm on the floor of the bus. There's no room back there. We got to the airport more than an hour and a half early, which is great. I'm sitting here, my last meal of the day will be a cappuccino and some apple strudel. Some apple strudel, nice and hot, with some cream there. Yes, all about that. Oh my god, that's loud. You know, I realized I got to the airport very quickly, and that's because there is no security until the gate. Each security is per gate, so basically, I don't know how I feel about that. I, I think I like it a bit more. I feel it's safer off top. All right. I feel like John Green now trying to talk over announcements at the airport. I almost exclusively always fly with the window, but I just got picked for an aisle, and it was 12 pounds to change my seat, so I wasn't about to do that. I'm gonna try and reach over and get some nice window shots, though. Now back in London, London Gatwick, much better than Stansted Airport. I managed to get through passport control with my new visa for the first time. Well, it is now exactly midnight and I have gotten home. Hooray. I'm in my bed. I need to shower so bad. I had an amazing day full of so much cool stuff. Vienna is so pretty. Very lovely. Thank you so much for watching another cool travel vlog from all the adventures of Evan. I might be traveling to Cardiff next week, and then of course I'm going to the US and doing a road trip the next week, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Goodbye. Well, the palace was super cool. This view though of the gardens is absolutely beautiful. So the broken castle, in carefully, is actually being held up by a Jedi warrior. I'm just a normal hotel room in the world.